PM3 School State Level Choir Competition is the first of its kind in Nadiant, and it is another positive step that will take us closer to our all of our our collective goal towards a holistic education. So the program has been made possible by the wholehearted support and encouragement of many key people, and some of whom we would like to acknowledge with a token of our appreciation. <laughs> to our special guest, Dr. Hobital Soto, who is the project director of TAFMA. Thank you, sir. We're very honored to have you amongst us. PM3 is nothing but Prime Minister School for Rising India. So this PM3 schools will be an exemplar school. You will have to uh, show the path. You have to lead the way. And today you are here to lead the way for the state. And so as it was launched on the 7th of September 2022, and uh, this is the first time we are going to have the uh, PM3 competition. So PM3 is also just like Samagra Shiksha, but Samagra Shiksha program and other uh, similar programs under PM3. But this PM3 school is a little bit different because you are going to implement all the programs that is uh, encapsulated under uh, New Education Policy or the National Education Policy 2020. And the music as an extracurricular activity is the first in, in the country. And therefore, we are popularizing music in Nagaland because our students are talented. Give a big hand to welcome Dr. Hobital Sotu, who is the project director of TAFMA, on stage to deliver his speech. Let's give a big hand, show. We have of... Uh, the chairman Tafma and the whole family of Task Force for Music and Arts welcome you all to Arsenpa, which is also known as the Regional Center for, of, for, ex, of, of Excellence for Music and Performing Arts. Samagra Shiksha, the PM3 initiative have come up with this uh, noble plan. The only state that is initiating this plan, that's what uh, my friend Jimmy told, and I'm so happy about that. TAFMA is also another of such initiative. In the whole of India, there is no setup in any state having a specialized setup for music. Nagaland, under the vision of the Honorable Chief Minister of Nagaland, Serenity Purio, Nagaland is the only state having such a setup all across India. Nagas, in general, are all born musicians without being taught we are able to sing. Without being taught, we are able to perform. Without uh, having to undergo intense training, we are able to give out good performances for our people. Let me tell you some of the few things that we are doing in TAFMA. Number one, we target good singers from across the state. Bring them up and push them to the country, to the national level and into the international level. We give opportunities to artists, good singers, bands, actors, painters, visual artists. We give opportunities to those kind of people with talents to give them more opportunities. 
opportunities and to, and to help them climb the stairs in their profession. Tafma also do have district partners in all the 16 districts of Nagaland. Okay. Today is quite uh, different from the conventional competitions that you might have been accustomed to in the past, uh, where there's a certain format alone. And I'm just telling the judges when they came, just be ready to be surprised in a way, because this is also a pilot project and uh, sort of experimental as well in some ways. But I believe that for creativity, to encourage any form of creativity, there has to be permission given and a freedom given to the people to think outside the box, to think beyond what they have seen, the standards and the status quo of how things are done. As long as they, uh, they, you know, they stay, stand within the periphery of certain guidelines and have a certain goal, I think creativity has to be encouraged. And that is how we can forge forward. Sir Hogitala has also said it so beautifully, forge forward as a state and as a department or as a government that is so uh, focused on creative art forms and encouraging that among our youth. So that is what we have gone ahead. I want to salute and thank all the mentors uh, very much. My great pleasure and we're going to commence with the competition today. Thank you. And second prize. The first prize winners will take home uh, not just a free gift that was mentioned earlier, but also a cash prize of rupees 30,000 rupees. That will be for the first prize. And for the second prize, it will be 20,000 rupees. I have a dream, a song to sing.
March 20th, 2024. So I'll come up from the bottom. Okay. The second prize goes to Mayang Nokcha Government Higher Secondary School, Mokokchung. So I'll request the choir members to walk up, please. Choir members of Mayang Nokcha Government Higher Secondary School to come up the stage. Take a line here. Everyone, give a big hand. So the first is backed by Government High School Taheku. Come up, please. Please come up the stage. Everyone, give a big hand to Government High School Taiko, the choirs, the winner of this competition. Get ready, one, two, three, five. Smile, big, yeah. Nice to have everybody get cheer, yay! Yeah.